hi friends welcome to all in this video we are going to discuss the new ccna version 7 packet tracer activity network representation here we will go through the objectives of this packet tracer activity the network model in this activity incorporates many of the technologies that you will master in your ccna studies it represents a simplified version of how a small to medium sized business network might look. Feel free to explore the network on your own. When you are ready, proceed through the following steps and answer the questions. Here they are given a note. It is not important that you understand everything you see and do in this activity. Feel free to explore the network on your own. If you wish to proceed more systematically, follow the steps below answer the questions to the best of your ability yes in this activity only we will understand the network representations now we will go to instructions identify common components of a network as represented in packet tracer the icon toolbar at the bottom left hand corner has various categories of networking components you should see categories that correspond to intermediary devices Entity devices and media. Coming to our packet tracer uh, at the bottom left hand, uh, here we can see network devices, here we can see entity devices, and here we can see other devices, components, and here we can see connections, etc. So now uh, we highlighted this uh, network devices. And here we can see uh, different uh, network devices uh, such as uh, routers, switches, hubs, wireless devices, security, and WAN emulsion. Okay, then uh, the connections category with the lightning bolt icon. Here we can see that lightning bolt connections. Okay, represents the networking media supported by packet tracer. There is also an entity devices category and two categories specific to packet tracer custom made devices and multi user connection. Coming to our packet tracer, here we can see uh, multi user connection, also, we can see entity devices. Next is uh, list the intermediary device categories. So, coming to our uh, packet tracer. Now we are in a network devices and here we can see intermediary devices such as uh, routers, switches, hubs, wireless devices, security, WAN emulsion. So these are the different intermediary devices uh, we use uh, in our uh, pack tracer. Now uh, without entering into the internet cloud or intranet cloud, how many icons in the topology represent endpoint devices? Only one connection leading to them. We will count and we will find that. Uh, coming to our topology, here we can see uh, in this uh, home office, uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now coming to central, it's 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now coming to branch 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Hence here we can see total uh, 15 endpoint devices. Now uh, without counting the two clouds, how many icons in the topology represent intermediary devices? Multiple connections leading to them. Coming to our topology, here we can see uh, internet and intranet. We are not going to count uh, these two. So other than that, we have, here we can see 1, 2 in home office. Now coming to central, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Coming to branch. 9, 10 and 11. Yes, there are 11 intermediary devices uh, except these two, uh, internet and intranet. Next is how many entity devices are not desktop computers? 
already we count all the edge devices uh, we found that total uh, 15 edge devices in this topology okay we will count how many uh, desktop pcs are here in this uh, topology uh, so we will uh, come to uh, home office so here we can see uh, one desktop pc okay uh, then coming to a uh, central uh, here we can see four uh, desktop pcs that means uh, four plus one five then uh, coming to this uh, branch we can see here uh, two more uh, so five plus two is seven but here our question is how many entity but here our question is how many entity devices are not desktop computers so we have seven desktop computers and total 15 entity devices then once we subtract we will get the answer 15 minus 7 it's 8 next is how many different types of media connections are used in this network topology coming to our topology here we can see a different types of media connections used in this uh, topology here we can see copper media from router uh, to this PC or uh, uh, to this inject then here we can see wireless media so it's two and uh, coming down here we can see they use coaxial cable and here we can see they use uh, one connectivity even we can verify that here they use this cable that is copper straight through then here we can see wireless and here we can see this connection uh, it's uh, coaxial here we can see that and they use this uh, serial connection that's all yeah yes so that we can see four different types of media connections uh, used in this topology now we will explain the purpose of the devices in packet tracer only the server hyphen pt device can act as a server desktop or laptop pcs cannot act as a server based on your study so far explain the client server model okay in a client and server networking model there will be clients there will be servers so this server uh, provide the network services uh, to the other uh, computers i mean uh, uh, to our clients uh, to perform uh, some user based task technically we can say a centralized administration uh, on clients next is a list at least two functions of intermediary devices okay here uh, the primary function of intermediary device uh, is interconnected entity devices also we know that these intermediary devices ensures that data flows across the network next is a list at least two criteria for choosing a network media type yes uh, obviously we have to consider distance the distance the media can successfully carry a signal next one is obviously environment the environment in which the media is to be installed also we have to consider the amount of data and the speed at which it must be transmitted then also we have to consider the cost the cost of the media and its installation next is compare and contrast lands and vans explain the difference between a lan and a van give examples of each it's quite easy uh, lan means uh, uh, it's in a small geographical area a van means uh, it's in a wide geographical area over long distance uh, maybe thousands of miles now uh, example uh, for a land uh, we can consider uh, a network in a home uh, or a network in an office or a network in a school etc and now the best example for van is internet next is uh, in the packet tracer and network how many ones do you see okay coming to our uh, uh, topology here we can see uh, two ones uh, one is internet and the second is intranet yes these two will be in a wide geographical area next is uh, how many lands do you see here coming to our uh, topology uh, here we can see uh, one land and they named as a home office then here we can see one land 
uh, named as central and here we can see one LAN a branch so uh, this topology we can see a uh, total uh, three LANs next is the internet in this packet tracer network is overly simplified and does not represent the structure and form of the real internet briefly describe the internet that's correct here we can see uh, this internet they shown as a, a cloud and we cannot see as a, a large geographical area okay now what is internet inter networks network of networks we can define internet as a global mesh of interconnected networks next is uh, what are some of the common ways a home user connects to the internet uh, obviously they can use cable dial up uh, sometimes they use satellite dsl cellular etc and all these may be depends on the uh, location okay now next is uh, what are some common methods that businesses use to connect to the internet in your area yes this also depends but mostly most of the places we can see uh, they use uh, dedicated le lease lines uh, some places they use a uh, DSL cable and some places they use a uh, satellite okay now here they're given a challenge question now that you have had an opportunity to explore the network represented in this packet tracer activity uh, we may have picked up a few skills that uh, we would like to try out okay or maybe you would like the opportunity to explore this network in more detail realizing that uh, most of what you see and experience in packet tracer is currently beyond our skill level here are some challenges uh, we might want to attempt and do not worry if you cannot do them all we all will be a packet tracer master user and network designer soon enough yes obviously okay just we will go through these challenges add an entity device to the topology and connect it to one of the lands with a media connection what else does this device need to send data to other end users can you provide the information is there a way to verify that you correctly connected the device yes we can do that so coming to our topology here we can see entity devices here we are going to select this PC and we are going to keep it here okay then we are going to connect from this WRS to this PC 0 uh, we can take this uh, copper straight through WRS we will connect to Ethernet 3 to this uh, PC 0 now this entity device is uh, not ready to communicate with other devices because we have to uh, set the uh, IP address, submit to mask, uh, default gateway, etc. Next is add a new intermediary device to one of the uh, network and connect it to one of the LANs or WANs with a media connection. What else does this device need to serve as an intermediary to other devices in the network? Okay, we can select network devices. So here we can see. Uh, routers uh, switches so in this switch okay here we will uh, select a multi-layer switch 3560 series now we can connect uh, these two uh, devices uh, d2 and our multi-layer switch coming to a connection so here we will take copper straight through uh, we will uh, connect to fa0 slash 1 to fa0 slash 1 now depends on the requirements so we have to configure uh, this multi-layer switch uh, to communicate with uh, other uh, devices next is open a new instance of packet tracer create a new network with at least two lands connected by a van connect all the devices investigate the original packet tracer activity to see what else you might need to do to make your new network functional record your thoughts and save your packet tracer file uh, you may want to revisit your network later after you have mastered a few more skills here is our uh, cisco packet tracer uh, we will have two lan okay we will keep two switches at uh, 296 series 
then we will have some feces okay right now we will connect these devices fa0 slash 1 to this pc 0 slash 2 and 0 slash 3 whatever same way this network so just we can highlight our networks <coughs> sorry here we can see one network and here is another network I mean another LAN now we will take two routers we will take 2911 we will connect to switches using copper straight through from this router g0 slash 0 to this g0 slash 1 g0 slash 0 to g0 slash 1 next we have to connect these two uh, routers uh, using uh, serial connection and here in this router we don't have any serial port we have to add it we'll go to 2911 we'll put off this uh, device then we will add this uh, serial port then we will put on now we will go to this uh, router we will switch off this router then we will uh, select this uh, module HWIC-2T then add this uh, interface to this slot then put it on ok now we can connect uh, these two routers using serial we will uh, select serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and uh, here we can see our van it's here Now these networks are not ready to communicate each other because we have to configure IP address and other uh, protocols uh, in these uh, devices. Anyways, we will learn those configurations uh, in future days. Okay, so friends, in this uh, packet tracer activity, we have seen network representation. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. And if you like our video, give a thumb, share and subscribe. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.